guys. Welcome to this next edition here, and I'm really glad that you're joining us beyond kicking and punching. That has been into the seminars and helping us get and promote what we call the Unified Grand Masters of America Association. I think I got that right because I'm getting a really scary feeling because Grandmaster was that Sam Ellis is looking at me, but uh, I, I hope it, I got it, okay? But we have two really great individuals here, and, you know, we, we're helping out here in Salt Lake City. Master, or is it Grandmaster? Okay, uh, Master Larry Martinez, and we have, which is Larry Martinez. Ta -da! Yes, Larry Martinez. <laughs> okay. And then we have Senior Grand Master Hill, right here, okay? Ron Hill. Yeah, so there's a lot of questions to ask you, you know? We've been in a martial arts for a very long time, you know I mean? They represent a, a martial arts, but what kind of martial arts are you practicing? I practice Okinawan Goju-ryu, Wado-ryu, Japanese traditional. Awesome. So, practicing this martial arts, have you folks learned anything or shared things that you feel that can help us help others? I think that was the intent of the get together. And uh, we tried to show a lot of things that weren't necessarily traditional, but what all styles could benefit from. And I think it worked out very well. The, the people here were extremely attentive, cordial, and respectful. I agree with Sen uh, Sensei Hill. It's always good to learn other, other uh, systems uh, this is what I tell my students, uh, because, uh, and now they may never see this again if it doesn't happen, which I hope it does, but, uh, I always tell them whatever you learn, whether it's one thing or everything they taught you is for your arsenal, personal arsenal. So I get it. You see, everybody coming together and really sharing their knowledge. And I've watched you folks do your, do your material. And you guys are just opening up and just really coming across good. And I see that the, the, the individuals or the, the students are really receptive to it, which is really good. So it means that, you know, as, as they progress, everybody's opening up their mind to learn more. Because, you know, we can learn from each other and, and, and you know, the tradition, the respect and everything goes, goes along good. Now, how long have, have you been practicing your martial arts and how old were you? when you first got your black belt? I actually started when I was 14 years old, but I didn't earn my black belt in, in Goju itself till uh, in the mid 70s. Oh. But I actually have been practicing, uh, started out uh, in Judo, and then under uh, one of the people with Mr. Ed Parker, Stan Hall, uh, when I was 16, 17, I studied with him up to brown belt. So, uh, about 55, 56 years. Dang, half a century. <laughs> uh, I started uh, in my uh, early 30s, mid 30s. Uh, I got my black belt probably a year and a half after that. And of course, uh, right now I've got like 45 years. Wow, great. Hey guys, I just want you guys to know if you guys are enjoying the program that we're putting on in Beyond Kicking and Punching, you see the subscription sign below, go ahead and punch it in. And then the bell and the thumbs up. Now, that leads me on this one, the other, the other question I had. And the question I had is just that, now, you've been in a martial arts for a while. Yeah? How many black belts do you have under you? And how old were you when you got your black belt again? I believe it was, it was in my... Uh... Mid, uh, early 30s. Where's your school located at? My school is located in Price, Utah. It's Price, about Utah. 120 miles east of Salt Lake City. So if anyone wanted to contact you, how would they contact you? I've got a, a school phone. Uh, it's 435-637-0767. Did that your address? And my address is uh, 1610 West, 2100 North. Helper, Utah, 84526. Are you open? How, how open are you? I am open uh, Tuesday, 6 to uh, six to 8, Wednesday, 6 to 8, Thursday, uh, 6 to 8.30. And uh, is children allowed in your classes? I have uh, 
children uh, and adults together, both beginner, advanced, and advanced. I mean, uh, intermediate and advanced. <laughs> okay. And Mr. Hill, you know, wh what about you? How, do, how, how would they contact you in your location? Uh, I had a school up in the Cottonwood area of Salt Lake City here for over 35 years. And uh, I have retired, and I just have a small black belt class now of students that I've taught over the years. I've had about uh, 35 individuals earn their black belt underneath me, and many of them are still practicing. I'm very proud of them. So how would they contact you? Uh, Facebook. <laughs> I, I, I don't Facebook. have a, I don't have a formal school, only those black belts I teach. Uh -huh. uh, many of them teach though. Oh, well, that, yeah. I mean, yes. if they contact you, uh, you can lead them on to that. Absolutely, I can. Uh, you can contact me at uh, Ron Hill at area code 801-680-0889. That's my personal phone, and you're welcome to leave a message. I'll get back with you and direct you accordingly. Self-defense-wise, yeah. Did you ever get into a fight with it? No, nope, I never have. Uh, it's like uh, you talked earlier in this seminar today. Uh, the best thing to do is as long as they throw words or whatever, you can turn around and walk away. But I've always had the philosophy of if they touch me, they they pass the barrier. That's right. But no, I, I have never been in an altercation awesome. doing karate. Awesome. Yeah. What about you, Mr. Hill? Uh, actually, I have. But I will say uh, many other altercations I never got into, and they were the best ones because of my martial arts training. How has martial arts affected you? Me directly, it's given me a, a, a purpose. Uh, my whole family is involved. Three of my daughters are black belts, and we do it as a family, and we enjoy that. But the friendships that I've made has extended my uh, interest, and competition has been excellent. You always want to go against the best, so you can work harder to come back. Uh, and every circumstance like that I have made friends in the martial arts that I respect and trust and I can't replace that. Wow. And what about you, Larry? How has it benefited you and uh well for one uh it's the best medicine as far as physically. Uh I've had a few uh work related injuries and then of course yeah doing karate because uh doing karate I just give it everything I got and I always have and I it's just been a good a good release of uh, of mental uh, situations and stuff and just uh, uh, just enjoy teaching M my my best was uh, tournaments fighting and still at my age we mm. can still do it I can still do it mm. the same way have any of you written a book on your art uh, I have not. I haven't written a book to publish, but I have created a student book oh, where it had all the history, lines of influence, taught us, drills, things like that. So they always have that and add notes to it. But as far as a bio of myself, no. So basically what you have is just um, a school manual, so to speak. A personal, uh, personal school so manual, students, yes, yes. And it's not available to the public. No, only the students. <laughs> Ten code. <laughs> no, no, I mean, because, uh, I mean, I mean, you know, we're talking about sharing and everything else this way. That would be. I'm, I'm forcing him right now. You know what I mean? Open up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, uh, look at this guy. His face already turning red. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> anyway, but you see, the thing is, just that um, sharing of knowledge, the association that is built here, right? Personally. What kind of value can you see out of it? Well, for me, you know, you can see it all day long, but as we were signing the certificates to the people that came through and shaking their hands, all of them had a great attitude. You could tell they enjoyed it. All of them said they learned a lot and will come back again. They do that. They'll tell their friends, this can only get bigger and better. Absolutely. I thought it was very positive. Yeah, I seen the same thing also. The other thing that I seen a lot here today and uh, uh, like tournaments you don't see uh, as much 
is everybody here today had a big humbleness. Mm. And that is a big, big thing, is mm. to be humble. Well, you know, that that's a good thing about that because you have all these students that are coming in, right? And they're looking at, at all the grandmasters and we're projecting out of it. Another, another, another thing too, right? I would expect them to behave the way they behave, humble and everything. Because if I was a student, you know, I'd be so fearful of stepping out of line because mm -hmm. I figured I would be getting my butt whipped, but it shouldn't be there. Either. I think what had happened was that they showed love and respect because, you know, we can lead by fear or we can lead by love. And showing the love and the compassion that we've done here, they learned a lot. They're coming and learning a lot. And when they go home, love transfer over to more love. You know, like a smile a day, travel the mile away, you know. I'm really delighted to really have all of you here because what it happens is, is that, you know, we see a lot of black uniform and now we see the white uniform. I see, that's really fantastic. I mean, it's going to be really shocking when I see some pink uniform come in, you know what I mean? But the idea is just that already you can see the sharing of things this way. And um, one thing that we have, we may not agree on the political situation in the world, but one thing we do agree is the unity within the martial arts because that's the only thing that is keeping us together as, as family. It's a bondage there, you know what I mean? In, in the Kaju Campus system, we have, I don't know, how do you folks uh, shake hands? Like that, right? Absolutely. Yeah, but, you know, but you know the way that we do it in Kaju Campus is when we shake hands, yeah? It means my, I respect you and everything. And the student put the hands under here, like I receiving the knowledge. And you, you put your hand on the top. You said, I'm giving my knowledge to friendship and I accept. You know, and I, I want people to realize that it because when two hands are open like this one here, there's no hands behind the back. It's okay. up front right over here. Uh -huh. You see what I mean? So we, that's what I want is because, you know, I mean, if you understand this world, I mean, it can be really screwed up. I mean, and the things that's going on right now, is lack of respect and so we have all this chaos that's going on i mean we've got two years of this uh, coronavirus and, and what is funny is just that not enough respect and ever since 2022 right uh, over 142 mass shootings in the united states why lack of respect on that one here and maybe if people had more martial arts they would respect more this i mean so now it's just that the art of giving, and I really, really appreciate you folks, you know, coming out and helping us with this one here. And again, you know, what we're doing is, what event are we doing here? United Grandmasters Association of America. You got it. You got it right, right? Well, you know, it's been a real pleasure having you folks with us over here. And I just want to remind people, for more information over here, you can contact well, let's do it there. The easiest way to contact is to go on kajukembo-ika.com. We have all kinds of information. The IKA is to share the knowledge because we're putting together an IKA learning university so that if you folks want to share things on it, you can share things and it goes virtual and teaching there. And we can offer, offer you folks, maybe you want to teach a class. You can put a class virtually and we do that to help people so that you can promote your expression of the martial arts. I mean, if you guys like to do that, we, we would be really welcome to have you there because then again, people know, people see, what you don't want to do is you don't want to keep it in your backyard and then the legacy goes around. What you want to do is just, your, your thing in life is to, to teach and learn. And if they can carry your legacy and they can say, who's your instructor? Hill was my, my instructor. Martinez was my instructor. At least your children, your martial arts children is actually carrying on for you. I'd like to have you folks join us. I mean, if you folks want to, all we have to do is just go on to the, uh, the Kaju Kembo, IKA, uh, dot com and say just register and it will send all the information to you because we put a calendar for all the activities that are happening. And that's the only idea that, okay, okay we can have activities to be happening. And I think uh, Sam is going to be having it again next year, right? And I hope that, you know, we can have more people come inside and really support that. No, I know I'm really pressuring them <laughs> over here. <laughs> and thank you very much for joining us in Beyond Kicking and Punching. 
guys. Thank you so much for attending and watching these guys and giving their life experience. Now, we could talk for hours. I know this. But because of the time restriction and because dinner is about to be served, <laughs> we are hungry. Okay? So, guys, thank you very much. Aloha. Thank and you. see you guys later. Bye, guys. Thank you.